welcome back to my channel today we'll be painting this devotional bible and this um i'm painting it because i thought this was going to be the cover and i thought it was really nice so that's why i got it got this one instead of the leather bound one but to my shocking surprise this is not the cover but this is the cover and honestly it's not bad, but it's not very interesting either, so I thought it would be a fun idea to paint over it and make it more interesting and fun to look at. So starting off, I'm prepping my painting by painting the whole book in two layers of white acrylic paint so that the colors will pop off more when I paint on top of it. I waited a few minutes for the paint to dry and then I started by painting the pink sky which was my favorite part and honestly it was super easy and I added some blue on the top and then afterwards I took a dry brush and I just like dabbed it around so that everything would be blended together and it created a really pretty cotton candy sky. Afterwards I started working on the hills with some greens and grays and a little bit of brown and I didn't really know what I was doing but I just kept adding colors until it seemed right and I added some grass and outlined this river. I'm sorry I really don't know how to explain but it looked so horrible to me and I hated it but I just kept adding colors and in the end it looked a lot better and here this is where it starts to come through. Um, by adding like the darker greens and greens and in general and then some white highlights and some shadows it just makes it look so much more detailed and so much more complete than it originally did so that's just like a little tip if you don't know what you're doing just add some lights add some shadows and it'll look so much better and now you'll see that I'm redoing the river because it just seemed too unrealistic so I made it a little bit more gray and added some blue tints and some white just to make it look more realistic I guess and I added some white dots in the sky to resemble stars. Now I'm adding some white blobs and pink and blue and a little bit of purple to make some lavender like flowers and I'm just adding some little small touches here and there to add more dimension to the painting. I felt like the flowers at the right bottom corner weren't enough so I decided to add some more and also I added some white dots here and there so that I could add some yellow flowers on top and I think that it makes it more colorful and more interesting to look at. I also added a little bit of yellow here and there on the green spot so that it would tie the painting together. After most of the paint dried, I started adding some lettering with my micron pen and I'm so sorry this footage is really really blurry. My camera kept wanting to focus on my hair instead of what I wanted it to focus on so I'm sorry. But anyway, there it is. And then I'm adding a Bible verse on the back cover that I think goes well with the picture that I painted. The verse reads, Behold, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs forth. Do you not perceive it? I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Isaiah 43, 19. And I thought this was a perfect verse to put on here because this Bible is called the Dancing in the Desert Devotional Bible. And finally, we're about to finish up this Bible. I'm erasing my pencil marks and then I'm doing some last minute touches on the river. And then the fun part, I added some Mod Podge to seal it all in. And also, I added some star little sequin glitter things and I think it just completes it. It looks so good. And then I added a final layer of Mod Podge on top to seal it all together. So here is the finished Bible and I am so happy with how it turned out. I think it 
looks super pretty and this verse matches it perfectly. You can literally use this for any um, hardcover Bible or hardcover book that you want to paint. And um, if you have the ability to get a matte Mod Podge, I would really recommend that because I used a regular glossy one and it was a little tacky for a few days, but now it's fine. But I do recommend a matte Mod Podge. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know how you think I did. And if you make any recreations or paint any of your Bibles or any of your books, I would really love to see them. So please DM me on Instagram. I love when people talk with me and I, I hope you like this video. And um, always remember to stay humble and be kind. Love you. See you in my next video. Bye. Oh, 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 oh,